believe it or not, this is a treasure map. Oh sure, it looks like a GPS instead of an old parchment with an X and some nasty pirate curse scribbled across the top like you'd expect. But to be certain, it is a treasure map. Where does it lead? Well, you won't find gold doubloons or sparkling jewels at the end of this trek. But when it comes to adventure, and maybe even a few keepsakes, there's no better map in existence. It's like a treasure hunt. It, it gives everybody a goal, the same goal. Everybody can do it. Uh, take turns carrying the GPS, following the route, trying to decide which is the best way to get to a, a location. And it's just a, a great outdoor activity for families to do. Geocaching. The modern hunt where you put Global Positioning System Points, or GPS, into your handheld navigator, and off you go to find pretty much any spot on Earth. The sport has grown over the past decade from a few stashes hidden in Oregon to well over one million registered caches in every country in the world, ranging from tiny canisters to enormous landmarks. Some are merely a notepad for you to log your name. Others are filled with items to trade and take with you to other caches all over the world if you'd like. You needn't travel to different continents in order to find interesting geo treasures, though. Many states in the western U.S. have started programs geared toward cachers in order to highlight their state parks. Utah has been at the forefront of this trend. Uh, we started about three years ago with the state park sponsored geocache adventure. Geocaching you usually take items to trade. With the state parks caches you don't trade items. There's just items there for you to come and take one item for each person. When most all the parks have geocaches and they all that have geocaches have GPS units like the one I'm holding that you can borrow and go in search of the geocache with instructions on how to use it. With 43 Utah State Parks stretching from Bear Lake in the north to Coral Pink Sand Dunes in the south, spanning every conceivable terrain and environment, the treasure of a family adventure is practically anywhere you look. But State Parks isn't stopping there. While the program was developed for their 50th anniversary, now three years later, a new geopush is being implemented. Anyone with a GPS is invited to set foot inside Utah State Parks, like Coral Pink outside Kanab, Utah, and find something bigger than expected when they open their cache. Well, we're trying to get a little more enthusiasm out there, and so we have some bigger items, and they don't fit in our geocache. We're putting some coupons in. People can find this coupon, they can contact State Parks, and we'll ship out the item. But it'll be something that's a little higher dollar value, and it'll have State Park's name on it and get people a little more excited about the geocaches in our State Parks. GPS coordinates mark the X. And while your destination won't be some remote desert island or pirate cove, every Utah State Park has an adventure waiting full of intrigue, suspense, and yes, even a bit of treasure. Geocaching is, is really not hard to do. All you need is the, the unit. It's just a fun new way of, of doing what people have been doing for a long time, but uh, with a little twist to it. Something you can find all kinds of activities there with the geocache adventure that gets you into the parks and gets families together enjoying nature and enjoying family-oriented activities. This is just a really neat way to do a treasure hunt. All kids like treasure hunts and all young at heart like them. For At Your Leisure with Chad and Corey Booth, I'm Stephen Hume.